Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be doing some division. We have a three-digit number divided by a one-digit number. And we might have some regrouping, so don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to take it little by little, step by step. Easy, cheesy, lemon, squeezy, like I say in all my shows. So let's get started, all right? First of all, when you see a big like number like that, don't worry. Cover this part up. Work with each number at a time. We got to figure out how many times can I take this number right here and put it into that number. So I kind of use our multiplication facts and I say three times one is three. Three times two is six. <laughs> That's too high. All right, so let's stay with just one. So we go with three times one. So I put the one right here. I'm dealing with that number here. Not this one yet, with this number here. So I go one times three is three. Put the three right there, a little line and we're going to do some subtraction. All right, so five minus three. What is it? Uno, dos, two. Yes, two. All right, now we start to work with the next number here. We have this four. We got to bring this down. Drop it down. Drop it down. Just bring that down all the way over here. Now we have 24. How many times can I put three into 24? Let me see here. Uh, let's jump it up a little bit. Three times three is nine. Three times five is 15. Three times uh, eight, <laughs> that's it, that's it. Three times eight, 24. So I'm dealing with this number here and I put the eight right here. All right, put the eight right there. Eight times three equals 24. Put a 24 here, subtract it. 24 minus 24 is zero, nada, nothing. If you want to, you can put a zero there. You don't have to. I'm just going to put it there for today. Now we drop this number. Drop it down. Push it down. You can add the sound effects if you want to. We got a seven right there. Okay. How many times can I put three into seven? Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Too big. Too big. All right. Let's keep it at three times two. I put the two right up here. Okay. Put the two right there. Two times three equals six. I'm running out of board space here. Get a put over here and a subtraction. I'm going to get rid of that zero there. Just kind of just get rid of zero. It's nothing. It just gets a little confusing. So I go seven minus six. What is it? One. This number right here, because I don't have any more numbers to deal with, that is what is called a remainder. It's, it's just you just got something re, uh, left over and you put an R right there with the one. 547 divided by 3 is 182 with a remainder of 1. Hey, you ready to do another one? Let's do it. All right, welcome back. All right, let's get started on this one. How many times can I put 5 into 6? Let me see. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Whoa, too high. Bring it down. Bring it down. Let's just put 5 into 6 one time. So I put a 1 right here. And then 1 times 5 is 5. Put the 5 here. Subtract it. 6 minus 5 equals uno, 1. Now bring that 8, bring it down, bring it down. All right. How many times can I put 5 into 18? See, 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. Too high. Bring it down. 5 times 3. All right. We'll put 3 up here. 3 times 5 is 15. Get to subtract that. 8 minus five is five, six, seven, eight, it's three. And one minus one is zero. You don't even have to put a zero there. No, just keep it, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Put the three there. Now we got to take this number and drop it down, push it down. You can add those cool sound effects if you want to. All right. Now we got to put five into 35. I love fives. Let me see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 7. 5 times 7 equals 35. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? 7 times 5 is 35. We don't have a remainder. Awesome. Look at that. 35 minus 35, 0, nothing. When you got a remainder of 0, you don't, don't put it there. Don't put it there. Just leave it alone. All right, beautiful thing. 685 divided by 5 equals 137. Hey, ready to do one more? Let's do it. Yeah. 
All right, welcome back. Hey, like always, if you wanna work on this, you can pause the video right now, and then after that, you can check the video or check the problem with me. All right, let's pause the video. All right, welcome back. Okay, hey, for our third problem, I thought I'd throw some zeros on there. We have 800 divided by three. Now, don't get worried. Don't get worried with all those zeros. This is as easy as, as, as pumpkin pie. All right, I'm not sure how easy pumpkin pie is, but oh my goodness, I'm starting to get hungry. We better get done so we can go get some pumpkin pie. Take it step by step, little by little. How many times can I put three into eight? Now you guys are math ninjas, I think you already know. It would be two. Two times three would be six. Three times three would be nine, too much. So let's put a two right there. All right, two times three is six. We're gonna do some subtraction. You ready for it? Eight minus six, what is it? Two. All right, put the two right there. Drop the zero down. Drop the zero down right there. All right. How many times can I put three into 20? See, three times five is 15. Three times six, 18. Three times seven, 21, too high. We gotta stick it around six, all right? So, three times six. Let's put the six right up here. Six times three equals 18. Put the 18 right there. All right, see what I mean? We're taking it slow, easy, cheesy, step by step. Nothing to worry about. 20 minus 18. All right, you might need to do a little regrouping. Take one from the tens place, make that a 10. Eight, nine, 10. All right, pretty simple. Have the two. Starting to see a pattern here, aren't you? We had two here before, drop the zero down. How many times can I do that? How many times can I put three into 20? We did that before with a six, it's still gonna be six. Six. Six times three equals 18. All right. I don't even need to do all this fancy regrouping. I already know 20 minus 18 equals two. That's our remainder right there. That's what's left over. So I'm going to go ahead and put a remainder of two. So that's our answer right here. 266 with a remainder of two. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the video. Um, I really appreciate it, I really do. I have people from all different countries uh, watching here. I have them from the Philippines, India, um, United States, uh, maybe even a couple from Canada. Hey, you gotta let me know where you're from. Put a, put a little comment down the below uh, where you're from. I would love to, to hear about that and if you have a special request. And like always, hit that likey button, hit that subscribe button, and have a fun day. Adios.